Yes, sir. Please start. Yes, sir. Recording start. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am very sorry that I could not start on time. When I am giving a lecture on universal human values, punctuality is most important part in this discussion. So I should have been on time. I did not uh, uh, do any injustice to this. I started my computer at 10 o'clock in the view that I should enter just at 11 o'clock. But anyway, I could not do it. I am so sorry for that. Today's discussion, though title is universal human values, we will touch few aspect in the screen you can see that i have put a desire i want to become successful now this is the desire of everybody from the child to the people like me people older than me for every human being the desire is to become successful the aspiration is also to become successful now our first year student those who have taken admission to step one step towards success of their career so they know how to become successful person like me who has crossed many steps towards success i also know how to achieve success today's discussion it might be some recapitulation but then also i thought that we must discuss how to become successful now if there would have been a fast food type of thing that in the evening I am hungry, you have a Maggie, two minutes noodle, you can prepare in two minutes and you can satisfy your hunger. Had there been any shortcut method to become successful, thing would have been easier. Nowadays, click of a button of a computer, I should be able to do everything. If my computer does not start within a second, I get tired. Even I become so angry that I feel like throwing my computer and damage it. So, so this is the age of new generation. But my feeling is that, that the path for success the ways to become successful, this is universal. The basic values that we needed to become successful during our age, during age of my father, during the age of my grandfather, it remaining same to the age of my son, even the, to the age of my grandson, so on and so forth. That means there is no shortcut route for success. There is a path everybody of us to follow that universal path to become successful. So in the first slide, I have written, I want to become successful. Then next question come, how? This is a million dollar question, how I can become successful. Now, you should not get afraid of, there are few things, if I follow, we are bound to be successful and these to be practiced and those values are connected with the education. And in this particular lecture, we will go step by step to make you understand or to make me understand that how I can reach to the goal 
of my success. Now, the main thing for success is attitude. This term you have heard many times. We also heard many times. But the key pointer for success is attitude. Now, if I tell you a story about uh, 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 importance of attitude. Now, this story goes like this. There was a man who made a living selling balloons at a fair. He had all colors of balloons, including red, yellow, blue, and green. Whenever business was slow, he would release a helium-filled balloon into air, and when the children show it, go up, they all wanted to buy one. They would come up to him, buy a balloon, and his sales would go up again. He continued this process all day. One day, he felt someone tugging at his jacket. He turned around and saw a little boy who asked, if you release a black balloon, would that also fly? Moved by the boy's concern, the man replied with empathy, son, it is not the color of the balloon, it is what is inside that makes it go up. Now, the same thing applies to our own life. It is what is inside that counts. The things inside of us that makes us go up is our attitude. So the foundation of success, regardless of your chosen field, is attitude. Now I'll show the next slide, a survey made, a study of Harvard University found that a person gets a job or promotion 80% of time it is because of his attitude. 15% of the time because of intelligence and knowledge of specific fact and figures. This is very interesting survey that I am displaying in this particular slide. So we are putting much effort in our school days, in our college days, in our research. We are learning few facts and figures, but those facts and figures contributes 15% of my success in career and 80% it is 85% uh, it is my attitude. So the foundation of success, regardless of student field, is attitude. So we must give much stress on attitude. Now let me tell you another story. There was a farmer named Hafiz in Africa who was happy and content. He was happy because he was content. He was content because he was happy. One day, a wise man came to him and told him about the glory of diamond and the power that goes along with them. The wise man said, if you had a diamond of the size of your thumb, you could have owned the city. If you had a diamond the size of your fist, you could probably buy the whole country. And then he went away. That night, the farmer could not sleep. He was unhappy and he was discontent. He was unhappy because 
he was discontent and he was discontent because he was unhappy the next morning he made arrangement to sell off his farm took care of his family and went in in search of diamonds he looked all over africa and could not find any he looked all through europe and could not find any when he got to spain he was emotionally physically and financially broke so he was totally disheartened and he committed suicide now the person who bought his farm was watering the camel at the steam that ran through the farm across the steam the rays of the morning sun hit a stone and made it sparkle like a rainbow he thought it it would like very good and he took it to keep the stone at his living room in the showcase that afternoon the wise man came and show the stone sparkling he asked is hafiz back the new owner said no why do you ask the wise man said because this is a diamond i recognize one when i see one the man said no they're just a stone i picked up from the stream come i will show you more and there are many more they went and picked some samples and sent them for analysis sure enough the stones were diamond they found that farm was indeed covered with acres of diamonds now what is this the moral of this particular story the moral of this particular story is when our attitude is right we realize that we are all working on accords and accords of diamonds when people don't know how to recognize opportunity they complain of noise when it knocks the same opportunity never knocks twice the next one may be better or worse but it is never the same one so this is the i have narrated two stories only to give emphasis on the fact that that attitude is very 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 important in our life and we must inculcate positive attitude so that we can become successful in our life now the next slide it is giving me oh uh, yeah it has changed now in this slide factors that determine attitude first one is environment then experience education so factors that determine attitude is environment experience and education so there are three e's so these are called the triple e's of attitude so we must remember that we need experience uh, environment we need experience we need education now environment we will discuss one by one all those three e's now what is environment it 
consists of home. And this home can give you positive or negative influences. Then school. Here you have peer pressure. Work. It can be supportive or over critical supervisors. Media, television, newspaper, magazine, radio, movies. So those media also very, very important in developing our right attitude. Cultural background, religious background, tradition and belief, social environment, and political environment. So whenever, I, whenever we talk about the environment, we mean all those things for the development of the attitude. Now, all this environment create a culture. Every place, be it a home, organization, or a country has a culture. Now, if you go to a store and you find the salesperson polite, the supervisor, manager, and owner polite as well. You go to another shop and you find everyone rude and discourteous. You go to home and you find the kid and parents well behaved, courteous and considerate. You go to another home where everyone is fighting like cats and dog. So environment is very, very important. In a positive environment, a marginal performance output goes up. In a negative environment, a good performance output goes down. So from this, you can easily understand how critical it, it is to have a good environment for success in your career. Then experience. Experience also, experience also, another important thing. Now our behavior changes according to our experiences with people and events in our life. If you have a positive experience with a person, our attitude towards him becomes positive and vice versa. Now, if I recall, if, if I give an example, suppose as a, 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 a student or a teacher or a visitor enters my chamber and then and then I ask, why you have entered in my room? Have you taken any permission? Then at the first sight, the behavior about the, 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 the conception of a person who has come to my chamber about me changes. He experiences a bitter experience about me. So obviously his attitude about me will change. Now, if a visitor enters my room, if I, whatever may be his way of talking, whatever may be uh, his attire, whatever may be his dresses, if I ask him to sit down and start talking to him in a courteous manner, in a polite manner, then automatically his impression about me will change and he will experience a, 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 a good thing from me. So experience, that way experience is very, very essential. Now next we will come to a very important thing, education. And whatever thing we are doing here, it is for education. And our greatest monk, Shami Vivekananda, he has a definition of education. And he, what he said, it is the manifestation of perfection already in a man. So already a sense of perfection is there in us. It is not merely the accumulation of facts and information. 
but the assimilation of knowledge and wisdom inherent in man in a doorman state. Now you must notice those lines, those words very carefully. Now education does not mean the accumulation of facts and information. It is assimilation of knowledge and wisdom. That means here comes the question of values, value education and those things, those values are inherent in him in a man but in a dormant state. I always say that we human being we are the mine of gold in us we have we have gold. Now I do not know if any of you know that how ornaments are made when the jeweler they buy the gold in the form of a biscuit in the shape of a biscuit a, a a, a, a rectangular type of thing then they melt it and they give shape of this gold in a jewelry now if you go to a jewelry show definitely you will not buy the biscuit of gold definitely you will buy the jewelry that means even if i have gold in me it is in a biscuit form this gold to be shaped into a jewelry, this to be shaped in a wisdom, then only I can have proper education. So everybody of us, we must think that we are most powerful in the universe. We have all power in us, but there must be a manifestation of the power that is already in us. And to manifest this power, we do all types of things, starting from attitude, education, experience, etc., etc. Now, about education, there was a statement by Plato means to achieve justice, both individual justice and social justice. According to Plato, individual justice can be obtained when each individual deploys his or her ability to the fullest. In this sense, justice means excellence. That means if you have proper education, then you have capability or you have, you have developed the ability to give your fullest capability Now, from the definition of education that uh, of, of, of Swami Vivekananda, you might have noticed that we don't need facts and figures. We need something more. That means we need Interestingly, everybody talks about value education. The, 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 the uh, slide, second slide I have shown, the study about Harvard University, they are also, they have shown that 85% of our, uh, 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 of your success is dependent on your attitude and 15% 50, uh, of your success dependent on your facts and figures. That means they are also, they have indicated that attitude, which is a part of value education is very, very essential for our development and achievement. <coughs> so, all human beings aspire for a happy, fulfilling life. For a human being, there are two important questions pertaining to this. Everybody of us, we want successful, we want to be happy, we must have a fulfilling life. That means we must know what is my aspiration. That means what to do. How to fulfill my aspiration. How to do. Many of us, 
we 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 dream for the success but we do not know what is my actual aspiration now if somebody now i have i have uh, more or less reached if somebody now ask me what will make you happy probably i will have little difficulty in answering this question that means many of us we are ignorant about our aspiration once i am ignorant about my aspiration how to fulfill my aspiration so everybody of us first question we ask to ourselves what is my aspiration or what to do once this answer of this question is obtained then the next question will come how to fulfill my aspiration and how to do so what to do and how to do this must continue in my mind day and night then only achieve success so the purpose of education is to facilitate the development of clarity on the as actualize it so the very great word education will enable you to know your aspiration then it will enable you to fulfill your aspiration now what is our purpose as human being many a time i also asked me the question who am i what is my purpose now just try to understand that if a person is born it take the responsibility of the person i need cloth i need food i need education i need health i need so many things once i born in this world then what is my purpose is it just to wear cloth to eat good food to travel good places to have luxury car to have big house or it is something else now the subject which enables us to understand this domain is called value education it enables us to understand our aspiration and visualize our goal for a fulfilling life and indicates the direction for their fulfillment in relation to these issues it also help to remove our confusion and contradiction in that sense value education addresses the issue related to what to do so to get the answer the uh, the, the answer of the question having three word what to do it is the full tense of our existence as human being and answer to this question will come from the value education i have received and if i have not received the uh, the value education if i have received only few facts and figures information of facts and figures then i will not get the answer of what to do again you have taken admission in engineering college basically if you go through the curriculum or syllabi of your course they are mostly designed to give you skill out of 
if you have studied uh, 40 or uh, uh, 50 subjects out of 50 subjects in your in your uh, uh, four year course being eight semester you will find there are hardly one or two subjects relating to development of values or subject relating to value education so it is one by 50th we spent to give value education of our student but without value skill has no meaning value both values and skills are required there is an essential complementarity between the two the priority is values then skills that is first understanding what to do then developing the skill how to do now the skill you develop in our curriculum this will help you how to do but unless and until you do not know what to do it is immaterial for us it in it is it is meaningless to me to have only knowledge of how to do and of course checking if this result into a fulfilling life Now it is a very sad affair that our present system, educational system has largely become skill based. For developing skill, the primary emphasis is on science and technology without a base of values. Skill can only help to provide a means to achieve what is considered valuable. That means here, if I give little explanation on this, that the skill you have developed with the skill, you can have a very good job. You can have a very costly car. You can have a very big house. So all valuable you may have, but you may not have the peace of mind. You may not have happiness in your mind. So, unless and until I have peace in mind, unless and until I am happy in my mind, what is the use of having so much of asset, so much of money in the bank, a big car, a big... So, it is not within the scope of science and technology to provide a way to decide what really is valuable the consequence of skill based education is clearly visible in the form of serious cries at the individual societal and environmental level thus there is a strong need to rectify this situation value education is a crucial missing link in the present education system Now, what are the guidelines for any input to qualify for value education? The following guidelines for the content of the course are important. It must be universal. It must be rational. It must be natural and verifiable. Now, this is very important in the sense it has to be naturally acceptable to the human being. Now, you, you, I, I stress on the word that uh, you can see the, the uh, two word uh, uh, in, a, in, uh, in inverted comma, naturally acceptable. Now, this natural acceptance is very, very important for us. Now, if I ask you, or if my mother asked me, 
showing a, a, a gentleman in front of me. Please respect him. Touch his, touch his feet. Now, all, then and then, I would have a confusion in my mind. Should I touch his feet? Should I respect him? That means respect is a term. Naturally acceptable to me. Then only I can accept. Now, I can share one of my experiences. Now, you know that my name is Christian Duchok. I was from a very conservative family. Now, our uh, during our childhood, the rule was that since I am Brahmin, I cannot touch the feet of non-Brahmin. So this habit continued. But when I grew up, one day I touched the feet of a teacher who was non-Brahmin. And the consolation or understanding in my mind is that I am not respecting any human being. I am respecting his wisdom. I am respecting his experience. I am respecting his knowledge. A human being and knowledge, then there is no problem. Now, after that, I don't have any problem even if, even if touching the feet, he has some quality. Now, why I have shared this experience? Because it must be naturally acceptable to me. The, 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 the criteria to show respect was naturally accepted in me. After that, I have no problem in respecting. To me means he has more experience than me. He is knowledgeable, uh, more knowledgeable than me, etc., etc. Now it is taking little time to uh, yeah change the slides. I think it got stuck again. Yeah. So. Uh, the criteria, as I have uh, told you, that it should be naturally acceptable, then it, it is all and compassing, then leading to harmony. Now, leading to harmony is also very important. Now, we human beings living in this particular world, in this world, we have animal kingdom, we have plant kingdom. That means we are in a nature. So everybody of us must be in the state of harmony. If we are in the state of harmony, then only we can be happy. Now, if my, if my neighbor, whom I see in the morning, whom I see in the evening, if he is not happy, if he is a distress, then I cannot be happy. So, with everybody. So, leading to harmony is also a part of value education. So, as a human being, our aspiration is continuous happiness and prosperity. Whatever we think, whatever we do, is with some end state in mind. Which is continuous happiness and prosperity. When you ask yourself, do I want to be happy? Do I want to be prosperous? Do you, 
I want the continuity of happiness and prosperity. All answers are in affirmative yes. We have a natural acceptance for continuity of happiness and prosperity. And these are our basic aspirations. Now this slide is very important. Self-exploration. Now always, day and night, day and night, we go on exploring ourselves. Self-exploration is a process of discovering that there is something innate, invariant, and universal in all human beings. This enables us to look at the confusion and contradictions within us and resolve them by becoming aware of our natural acceptance. Now, this self-exploration is going continuously in us. Now, if I share another uh, example, suppose on the road, you find that in a, a 500 rupee note uh, is lying on the road. Then, then and then you might be tempted to take the note, note uh, uh, with you. Always I say, there are two mind in human being. Now, if it is my case, what I'll do? My, my one mind will say, take the money, I'll have a, I, I'll have a food in the restaurant. The other mind will say, no, it is not my money, I will not take it. Now, this contradiction goes on. And this contradiction will resolve at some time with our awareness about natural acceptance. After some time, your good mind, I will say good mind and bad mind, after some time, good mind will prevail and it will give a verdict. No, it is not my money. I will not take it. So this is through self-exploration and this is through natural acceptance. So this way, self-exploration is very, very important and everybody of us must practice it continuously. I should not mind, it is taking time to change the slide. Yeah. So, the process for value education has to be that of self-exploration and not of giving sermons or telling do's and don'ts. Because if somebody tell you, don't do it or do it, Unless until it is, it is accepted by me, I cannot do it. And this acceptance through natural process is a part of self-exploration. Whatever is found as truth or reality may be stated as a proposal. And every student is to be encouraged to verify it on his or her own right. Now, this is a diagram. Uh, basically, it is a copied diagram. When I took the course of uh, universal human value, that time self expression was explained with this diagram. I, I, I liked it very much and I have taken it here. Now, if you look at that, as I have told you, that respect somebody, love somebody. Now, these are the proposal. Now, whether I will respect him or not, this to be accepted by me with self-exploration and natural acceptance. Then only you have right understanding. Now, there are other things which are, are not possible to accept through natural acceptance. In that case, we validate it by Experience, experiential validation. With experience, we validate it. But the best way of verify is to 
uh, uh, with natural acceptance for right understanding. Now, as I told that we are human being, we human being exist as self and body. Now, when you look at me in front of mirror, the body, the, the, the person I see, if I stand in front of a mirror, the person I see, it is my body. But in the body, there is a self. So, as a human being, we exist as self and body. Now, we are human being and we need to first understand ourselves. So, what is a human being? The proposal is that human being is coexistence of self and body. Self is what we term as I and body is what we see with our eyes. Now, uh, here, again, I share uh, one of my, uh, uh, my experience. Now, as I told that we human being are a composition of I and body. Now, I is same for all. Basic acceptance like respect, love, happiness, prosperity. Everything is same for everybody. There cannot be a man in the inverse who says, I don't like to be respected. I don't like prosperity. I don't like to be happy. So basic instinct of all human beings in the form of I are same. But we differ in the form of our body. We differ in the form of our strength in the, in the body, shape of our body, etc, etc, etc. Even intelligence. Intelligence also a part of our body. It is the part of our brain. So this may differ, but basic instinct as I is not variable. Now, whenever anybody, be it is a group disturb, be it is a student, be it is a teacher, be it is a high official, whoever enters in my chamber, always I offer a seat, I offer a chair. Now, I have realized that, that he may be a group D employee, or he may be a big official, but as a I, all are same. As a self, all are same. So there is no distinction between me as Krishna Chakraborty or he as human being and, and self. So with this concept, always I offer a chair to everybody and I get pleasure. And, and, and this belief has come to me through natural acceptance through self-exploration. Now, after discussion of uh, so many slides, again, we come to attitude because attitude is also a part of value education. So how do we recognize or how do you recognize people attitude? Now, people with positive attitude have certain personality traits that are easy to recognize. They are caring. They are confident. They are patient and humble. They have high, high expression of themselves and others. They anticipate positive outcome. A person with positive attitude is like a fruit of all season. He is always welcome. Now, you might have noticed that there are few people whose personality is such that they attract. Always we feel that if I would have spent more time with him,
less time we can spend to those people, it is better. So if a person has a right attitude, automatically there will be an impression in his character and his personality will be attracting, not repulsive. Makes a pleasing personality, is energizing, increases enjoyment of life, inspire others around, helps to become a contributing member of society and asset to the country. Now, always we say that nobody is indispensable in this particular world, but departure of a particular person, we feel that that we have lost something, be it a departure from the world or let it be a departure from an organization. If a person having a positive attitude, always we feel that with the, with the departure of the person, we are missing something, we are losing something. So this is the benefit of positive attitude. Now the consequence of a negative attitude, bitterness, resentment, a purposeless life, ill health, high stress level for themselves and Next, very big question, how to build positive attitude? Change focus, look for the positive. Now we need to become good finder. We need to focus on the positive in life. Let's start looking for what is right in a person or situation instead of looking for. I like to give another example that suppose a person enters uh, in my chamber and he started shouting, which is not expected from him. Then there are two possibilities. One possibility is I turn him out or another possibility is I listen to him. Now, when you are judging a particular person, you should not judge based on his a particular instant. Whenever a student enters in my room, Whenever any staff enters in my room, he have if if if, if his his attitude at that moment is not good, then I try to evaluate him. I like to try to analyze him. That yesterday he was good. Day before yesterday he was good. He was sincere. He was obedient. Maybe today something has happened in him. That's why he's behaving in a erratic way. So, so we must focus on the positive side of the human being. We should not focus on instant negativity of a human being. Now, another thing to build positive attitude is make a habit of doing it now. A completed task is fulfilling and energizing. An incomplete task drains energy like a leak from a tank. If you want to build and maintain a positive attitude, get into the habit of living in the present and doing it now. This is very important. Now, Today I am to deliver this particular lecture. I had enough time in the morning. I, I, I get up at four o'clock in the morning and this lecture started uh, at 11, 11 o'clock. That means I had seven hours of time, but I have prepared this lecture day before yesterday because there is a prediction that there will rain. If there is a rain, there will be a water logging. If there is a water logging, there may be a power failure. 
if there is a power failure, my laptop may not run. And at the 11th hour, if I cannot deliver due to power failure, then I'll be in a state of tension. I'll be in the state of unhappiness. So I prepared the lecture day before yesterday. So I try to give you, a, give you an impression that you have to make a habit of doing it now. It is not that, that I learned this overnight. I experienced this many times. Then I, I made it to the point that, that, that I must do everything beforehand or so that I should not face any difficulty. This is also very important. You must count your blessing, not your trouble. Now, if you try to get a smell of rose, you cannot count the number of throne that tree of rose has. That means, always, you must develop a sense of gratitude that whatever I have got, it is good for me. I am fortunate enough that I have got it. I should not highlight all the trouble always. Now I am to get into continuous education program. This is also very important. Build a positive self-esteem. You must know how to respect yourself. If I do not know how to respect yourself, then my happiness does not exist. Whatever position I am having today, may I, I may be a student, I may be a worker, I may be a multi-millionaire, but I must have my own self-esteem. Now you must stay away from negative influences. Sometimes forcefully, you must be away from negative influences and you must be able to tell no sometimes. Telling no sometimes, it is also a habit to keep yourself in a proper path of happiness and success. Learn to like things that you need to be done. This is a very, very important thing. Again, I share experience of mine. Now, after my one was diagnosed that I have a block in an artery. I have been asked by doctor, I must have a change of my, my uh, lifestyle. I must walk in the morning. I must start meditation. I must have pranayam. I must have fusion exercise. Now, and I was not liking to do those, those activities, but I have made it in a habit. Now, for last five to six years, continuously, I am doing the morning walk. I, I, I walk three kilometers every day. I sit, I sit for meditation for 20 minutes. I do not do this. I feel uneasy. So it has become a part of my lifestyle. So you must learn to like things that need to be done. And start the day with something positive. This is also very, very important. Now, again, I share my habit with you. The first thing in the morning when I get up, what I do, I wish good morning to selected people. I have about 30 people every day. I friend in my Facebook. No, number cannot be increased now. It is this 5,000. 5, so I wish happy birthday to them. Then when I walked, I started listening to song, preferably Robindra Shongit. So I start with a positive in the morning. So I request, uh, I will request everybody, please make it in a heavy <coughs> and and gradually, it will be your part of your happiness. 
Now, a few slides are left. I have drawn a few slides with uh, a comparison between winners and losers. The winner is always part of the answer. The loser is always part of the problem. The winner always has a program. The loser always has an excuse. The winner is a problem for every answer. The winner says it may be difficult, but it is possible. The loser says it may be possible, but it is too difficult. I was wrong. When a loser makes a mistake, he says, it was not my fault. Winner says, I must do something. Loser says, something must be done. A winner makes commitment. A loser makes promises. Now, what are the action steps? Action steps are, be a good finder. Make a habit of doing it now. Develop an attitude of gratitude. Get into a continuous education program. Build positive self -esteem. Learn to like the things that need to be done. Start your day with a positive note. Now I request my student, make a list of the things you would like to change about yourself. After this lecture, when, you, when, when your today's, today's uh, uh, program will be over, you close your eyes and please recapitulate what was discussed today, what was told to you today, and make a list that where you are. Now, I have a habit that, that habit, I have learned from my PhD supervisor. He was, he, he, he not was, he's a genius. He's a Bhatnagar awardee, Professor Shomitra Banerjee. He told me that Krishnendu, when I go to bed at night, I close my eyes and I think that what addition of my knowledge I have done today. If I find that I have not done anything, I leave bed, I go to my table and I do something so that there is a value addition in me. So everybody of us must have continuous value addition in us. I also practice the same thing. Before going to bed, I close my eyes. I recollect whatever thing I have done. If something is missing, I do it. And my request to you all, please try to love yourself. In the universe, in the world, we do everything accepting loving ourselves. You just count the activity in a day you have done. You will find that for yourself, for your betterment, for your upliftment, you have not done practice. That's why I have written this line with bold letters. Make a list of things you would like to change about yourself. Now, success is not an accident. Whenever you see that somebody is becoming fast, uh, I do not know how many of you have seen the movie in the Netflix, Quota, a factory. If you see the movie, it is a two series, series one, series two, uh, available in Netflix, you will find that success is not an accident. It is a product of a good habit, good practice, good attitude, good value education, and hard work. It is the result of our attitude, and our attitude is a choice. Hence, success is a matter of choice and not chance. Some fear of failure, lack of formalized goal, lack of commitment, lack of training. 
So in our institute, we will try to see that those obstacles of success be overcome. Training part, definitely it is a uh, academic institution. We are mean for training the student. The training part will take care of, but other things also will try to go to care of in the form of imparting value education to you. Now, this is my last slide. I, uh, the content that I have taken, it is from the book. I think most of you have read the book. You can win by Sheep Kera and lecture note of universal human values conducted by AICT. From those two content, I have developed today's lecture. Now I am very happy uh, that I was given, I have been given an opportunity to share my thought to young mind. I can see tons of diamond in young mind. I can see the mind this to be manifested, this to be nurtured so that we can shape them to proper shape and take them to the peak of the success. With this, I conclude. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for the very nice invigorating lecture you have given. I believe all of us have learned the very important aspects of our life to make us a good human being. It will help us in a very great way. Thank you again, sir. Thank you, sir. And, and I will request all the students to unmute your mic and give a big hand for sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Now I request uh, our accounts officer, Srimati Sulogna Chakraborty, so, so, sorry, Sulogna Chatterjee, to carry on with her lecture. Madam, please. Madam, can you hear me? Shulogna, madam. Sir, sir. Khan, sir. Uh, ah. Oh, yes. Okay. But before go going to uh, madam session, uh, we should ask the students if they have any query, they can ask uh, sir well, to okay. clear their query. Yes, yes. It's welcome. It is welcome. Well, okay. Dear yeah, students, uh, if students... you have any query, uh, in your mind, you can ask our principal, sir. Any one of you may ask. There's nothing to worry. Anyone, please? Any student? Well, I think uh, okay. they are not. They are not going to ask anything. Never sir. mind. You are always welcome sir, to sir, ask. Sir, I have. Sir, uh, I have one question. Yeah, please. One question. Please, please, please. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, yeah, in the beginning of your lecture, uh, you uh, said that, sir, eighty-five percent. Uh, you you have uh, cited one uh, survey yeah. of uh, Harvard University, uh, sir. Yes, sir. So 85% of success comes due to attitude and 15% due to knowledge about some fact, knowledge and some facts and figures and all. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, my question is uh, uh, to build up a proper attitude, we, we should have proper knowledge. Without knowledge, proper attitude will not come. So it, it is falling into yes. a loop, sir, right? Yeah. yeah, you are correct. What is knowledge? Knowledge is value education. So you must have value education. Then only you can have knowledge, proper knowledge. Now, attitude, attitude is also a part of knowledge. Attitude is also a part of value education. Education has yes, two parts. One is to develop skill and one is to develop yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you have mentioned also that three, three, three E's are also there. Yes, yeah. sir. So whatever facts and figure you have learned, this will variable. 
when I started my engineering, that time there was no computer. Now there is a computer. When I joined engineering college, I sent telegram to my father <coughs> that I got telegram. So this will go on changing. But if you have a proper attitude, then with the help of attitude, you can with your continuous learning, you can cope up and you can go to the success. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, I would request you to stop sharing your screen so that uh, Shulagna have... Madam Shulagna Madam can continue. Sir has already stopped sharing screen. No, it's still yeah. coming. I am to पढ़े पड़ते हुए माइक्रोफोन फोन कर देखी कथा मैडम कि
কথা আসছে না ম্যাডাম আপনি ভিডিওটা অফ করে দিন কথা আসছে না ওকে তাহলে আমি ভিডিও অফ করে বলছি ঠিক আছে হ্যাঁ 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 তাই করুন গুড মর্নিং আই উইল লাইক টু ওয়েলকাম ইউ ওয়ান্স अगेन টু আর জি সি সি টি ইনস্টিটিউশন আই অ্যাম শিলগনা চ্যাটার্জি অ্যাকাউন্টস অফিসার of this institution and uh, i would like to share some of the points topic to be discussed in the session madam we can't hear you i think shulogna madam you you just log out and then re log in there is some problem with in uh, with the network connectivity
অনলাইন মোডের এটাই প্রবলেম স্পিকার প্রেজেন্ট সবই আছে আমি ওনাকে বললাম যে দুটো থেকেই লগ আউট করে এতে আবার উনি ফোন থেকে ঢুকেছেন ওনার ওনার কম্পিউটারে তো স্পিকার নেই কিন্তু কম্পিউটারে স্পিকারটা অন দেখাচ্ছে উনি ফোনে ঢুকলেন কিন্তু ফোনের স্পিকার বা কিছু অন নেই ম্যাডাম আপনার কম্পিউটারে স্পিকারটা অফ করে দিন যদি ওখানে স্পিকার নেই তা ওটা অন দেখাচ্ছে কম্পিউটারে স্পিকারটাকে অফ করে দিন ওই মিউট করে দিন তাহলে হয়ে যাবে মনে হয় জন্য <laughs> It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to our institution. This is Shilogna Chatterjee, accounts, of this, accounts officer of this institution. And it's my great pleasure to be among all the great individuals here and to all of you, the dear students. Uh, and uh, to the parents here uh, who might be present, I look forward to getting to you the exceptional young people who have raised and to helping provide a rich array of opportunities for them to learn, to grow, to discover who they are and how they want to make a difference in the world. Uh, so uh, the main motto, so why you all are in this institution today to be a BTEC engineer after four or five years. And, and I, we all would like to see you in uh, flying colors after a few years in different organization. So to achieve this organizational success, all you need is not only educational knowledge, technical knowledge, but some skills, uh, some skills, some points will be there. You need to achieve, you need to go through to achieve the skill, to achieve the success. So we will be going through those skills you have to earn to attain for your success. So I would like to share a slide to you organizational success. So what are the skills we have to achieve for this success? Topic to be discussed in the ses sessions are time management, stress management, engineering yourself for a successful career, leadership role, and soft skills for engineers. আমাদের কাছে খুব পরিচিত ছবি একটা দিস ইস আইকন উইচ উই অল নো উইচ ইস ভেরি নোন টু আস দ্য ইয়াং জেনারেশন পিস বুক 
and facebook is killing our time tabole ki am bolbo facebook corona sara din poro ekdomi noy kintu jate kono bhabe amra time ta ke manage korte pari so be wise with your time so oh, what is time management you have to prioritize इम्पोर्टेंट डान this will be specially important uh, around your within your few months when you be, will be have lot of midterms you will be have lot of projects you in different courses different subjects you will be need to able to prioritize lot of things that are to be due on the same day then comes time allocation if you have a big project that takes a lot a high priority and put it at the top of your list and save those quick tasks to be done as break throughout the progress of the large assignment many students found that uh, maybe this project is taking a long time this project will uh, this project will be done in a short time but this project is important to me and i have to do this project quickly this assign try and start the assignment as early as possible so you can allow yourself to take breaks and work on other assignment that take less time maybe in due course you will identify with even more than one of these prioritization list and be able to choose a method based on this situation once you have figured out your priorities you can move on to decide how to get this important task list or to do list amra erokomo kore thaki amra mobile e बजार जावर समय टू डू लिस्ट पड़े भूले ना जा बजार नहीं आसते हैं दोकान नहीं आसते हैं सरकम जो टेक्नोलॉजी एतटाई यूज करते हाथ सामने तेल क्यों टास्क लिस्टर सहाज्य नेब ना प्रडिंग टास्क लिस्ट इज ए क्यूक एंड इजी वे टू सी व्हाट यू नीड टू गेट डान इन योर डे और उक समाइम्स वेन यू गेट plus with a lot of project you need to do seeing them all in a list will make it easier to prioritize and then to make a task list write out all the things you need to do in a week or in a day month or semester whatever from there you can choose the task you want to get done first from those list that is you have to prioritize from the d list from the task list which one you have to do earlier now we are going through a very uh, difficult time all of we are going through a difficult time we are uh, facing online classes students have to face the teacher online even teachers have to face the students online there is no physical communication physical touch but it's not permanent since students have been constricted to their homes keeping track of studies assignment and homework has become difficult even for the teachers with regular classroom students had a specific place and a set time for their school or college hours online classes have considerably decreases the focus of students and made them lag behind here 
so here are a few tips uh, that I can tell you so that students can manage their time for online studies. Even I have seen students um, who sometimes get online to put their attendance so that the teachers see that the students is online and he or she is recording the class. He is not present there. So I will tell you, create a well-designed plan. Schedule your day accordingly to do your other tasks. So you will be getting your routine or your schedule beforehand. Schedule your day accordingly. Present in the class physically. Set up a virtual classroom. Choose any corner of the house and make it your dedicated classroom. Make a to-do list of all your assignments, studies, and chapters will help you know which are to be completed on a priority basis. Add a minimum time to each task. And uh, this adding a minimum amount can help you a lot time for each task throughout the day. This will also help you know how much time you take for different assignment. And the very important thing is reward yourself. Take a break, reward yourself at frequent intervals. This will help your mind stay focused and also increase productivity. I will not tell you to study throughout the day or and I will not suggest you to browse through the Facebook or WhatsApp throughout the day. Manage your times accordingly. And uh, this will le lead to a very good thing that is no last minute cramping of syllabus. Every student often sees uh, this problem that uh, not completing their syllabus on time. This leads to them cramping up all the chapters just before the exams, which undoubtedly makes them get lower scores than they ex expected. Obviously, they mug up the things at the last moment. With proper techniques of time management for students, they can not only complete studying the chapters in their syllabus on time, but also have extra time left for their revisions. If you do not do time management, this will lead to stress among the students over the course of learning. In today's state, stress has been an integral part of life because there are many things which act as a stress catalyzer. COVID-19 has caused significant stress around the globe. It is not limited to adults only, but stress is increasingly affecting children of all age group. Rather, we can say people of all age group. You are facing the stress, So what are the ways so that we can overcome the stress? How we can overcome the stress? What are the st stress? Is the first stress of getting good grades in their exams. Concurring stressors, kids, and you are having your classmates, your batchmates, who are equally stressed. So they can't what I 
college focus on getting your education instead of getting certain grades grades will come in automatically as you can subjects matter not exam don't visualize the exam during studies study in the same classroom or building where condition judian balance relationship on in college so uh, make an effort to only be friend people those whose company you enjoy your time at college is too short to spend interacting with people who you don't get along with whether you are working in a group project online or engaging in a class discussion via chat you have the opportunity to be selective about whom you give extra energy to you can make lifelong friends in college so try your best to only invest your time and attention in the relationships that matters to you engineering yourself for a successful career so engineering education requires a tra transformation to meet the needs of employers the challenges facing the profession and the community as a consequence of the rapid development of technology the demand of large and complex projects and the need for socially responsible multidisciplinary innovation a bachelor's degree in engineering opens the door to several professional careers and exciting higher study options in today's high tech world an engineering degree is a great foundation for careers in traditional engineering fields as well as careers in management sales government medicine research law teaching and many more the technological problems faced by modern society are quite complex and it is the duty of the engineers to provide appropriate solution this solution providing makes engineering a fascinating field of study and will provide engineers with a wonderful opportunity to make a difference in the society to be successful engineering students must become skilled in basic engineering principles and practices be trained to think analytically learn how to communicate effectively and work in multidisciplinary terms students often have misconceptions misconceptions about a career in engineering they often underestimate the amount of report writing involved they underestimate the importance of communication and negotiation they don't realize the amount of responsibility that they are likely to have and the extent to which they will have to use their own judgment and make their own decisions rather than just doing what they are told engineering involves imagination and innovation engineering graduates have a very good chance of being employed compared to other professions Though the job environment is highly competitive, there are real skill shortage in engineering. To get placed during the campus placements, students should be well prepared beforehand by developing certain qualities. So, what are the qualities we will be discussing? Involvement in various projects. 
participate in every experimental and hands on learning opportunities that is allowed in the schedule. This will enable you to show something to the prospective employer while others will be able to list down only the courses that they have studied. Additionally, you will be employing the theories which you have studied and by doing practicals will retain that knowledge. Also, such activities will boost your communication and interpersonal skills. The next point is work as a team as much as you can rather than being alone. Whether doing practicals or mini projects, participating in sports or arts, get involved with the team to produce great results. The experience which you acquired during your college days will enable you to lead the team when you graduate. The next is undertaking the importance of networking. Attend as much as many lectures in the form of seminars, conferences, and so on in your campus or outside. As uh, we all are going through online platform, so attending seminars from outside is not a difficult matter in nowadays. Try to get introduced to speakers. Also try to contact with the alumni of your college and gather as much information as possible. You may contact by using the latest technologies, but at the same time, remember that there is no suitable, no substitute for face-to-face -face meeting, which is difficult in this pandemic situation. Take leadership role. Engineers are always leaders. I must tell you that. Whether you are officially a leader of a team or not, but you can lead from any position by influencing people by way of your creative comments and your attitude towards the situation. Another thing and the most important thing is find your flaws and fix them. We don't use to find our flaws. We are busy in finding the faults of your of the next one sitting beside you but we di we don't use to find our faults listen to the feedback about you from your friends team members teachers and so on listen to how people view you and improve your skills including communication and leadership also you have to accept constructive criticism which you lead to your success in addition one has to make the vacation productive by way of doing internship whether it is included in the syllabus or not which will give you a feel of what an industry is a positive attitude in the is a key to success though there is incompetence but the attitude can change a lot Accept right ideas and reject wrong ones, no matter their, whatever their source is. Essentially, it is important to understand that engineers don't just work with machines, buildings, designs, circuit boards, and engineering doesn't only require a good understanding of science and mathematics. <clears throat> engineering needs to be understood in the context of its role in society and your role as an engineer has to be understood in the context of your work within a company and ultimately within society. And as the picture says it all, you have to be different among others. There are several engineering institutions nowadays and several BTEC graduates will be passing after four or five years amongst you. So you have to be different to get a good job of a good package.
this is the sign we all know and we some of you might cherish for so there are various scope of government jobs for engineering students any junior engineer in food corporation of india that is fci state public service commission that is wbcs exam rbi grade b senior section engineer or junior engineer in indian railway board junior engineer in metro railway isro engineer or scientist in isro scientific or technical assistant in ministry of electronics and it upsc civil service examination upsc indian engineering ex service examination airport authority government jobs for computer sciences information technology engineers and there are government jobs for all stream for all even for the uh, ceramic technology engineers there are government jobs public sector under undertakings they also offer government jobs to the btec engineers here lies the list of public sector undertakings that is the sale ongc ntpc hill and bharat petroleum corporation these all are the public sector undertakings they used to recruit engineers on the basis of the on the marks of your competitive examination that is the gate graduate aptitude aptitude test this exam will test you on the basis basic concepts and the undergraduate level certain companies also practice direct college recruitments for which you will not have to appear for the gate ex examination so what are the key factors which has triggered the interest of candidates especially engineers in the civil servants examination has to be the c sat prelim format c sat which stands to civil service aptitude test was introduced by the upsc in 2011 candidates from humanities background have complained that c sat has been designed by technocrats in such a manner that it would favor candidates from technical backgrounds in fact the entire premises on which cat has been designed is inspired from gmat cat sat in the entrance exams is really help the technical skills of candidate we used to say that the banking examinations are also yeah Sorry to interrupt, Akash Verma. Akash Verma, mute yourself. Hello. Even, Some, uh, okay, continue, bank. continue, madam. Designed in such a way that uh, they used to help the uh, engineering students to secure good marks. Another important factor that acts in favor of the engineers who appear for the civil service examination. is their familiarity and experience with the comp competitive examinations majority of the engineering graduates would have to go through some or the other national or state level engineering entrance examination to secure admission to their respective engineering college being from a technical academic background it is quite normal for engineering students to have a more tech savvy nature this stems 
from the fact that the engineering syllabus is designed in such a manner that promotes objective thinking and pinpointed mindset to exam preparation. In other words, they have better dedication reasoning that aids in better understanding of the syllabus and examination pattern of the government examination. So when it comes to the preparation of government, government examination, engineering graduates are able to pick up topics and points that are most relevant from examination perspective and provide pinpointed answers for the questions. Engineers are always in demand, just like the need for adapting and invention. So if you are looking for a government job or just looking to for a uh, to be in the government administrative, there are many routes you can take. Getting a government job is not as easy as a pie. The competition is extremely high and conversion rates are limited. If you clear the government exam, you can get a government job after engineering. There will be job security, fixed working hours, and sufficient bonuses come along with it. There is one vital point that is leadership quality. Some people are naturally leaders. You will be finding among yourself. Some people will be get involved in the college associations. They have the instinct of becoming, they have a leadership quality. In our school days also, we have seen uh, some students being the monitor of the class. They have that leadership quality to manage 50 or 70 students in a classroom before the teachers. But anyone can develop the skill set needed with some practice strategies to help you develop your leadership skills and keep advancing your career. The first point I'm going to discuss about this leadership quality is you have to practice discipline. A good leader needs discipline. Developing discipline in your professional life is a must in order to be an effective leader and to inspire others to be disciplined as well. People will judge your capacity to lead by the amount of discipline you display at work. Demonstrate discipline at work by always meeting deadlines, keeping appointments and ending meetings on time. If you are naturally disorganized, then you may have your work cut out by you. But you can always start smart, trying implementing good habits at home, like making a barley and getting your work done, work done in time. Develop situational awareness. A mark of a good leader is someone who can see the bigger picture and anticipate problems before they occur. This is a valuable skill to have when handling complex projects with tight deadlines. The ability to foresee and provide suggest suggestions for avoiding potential problems is invaluable for a leader. This ability also helps you recognize opportunities that others overlook, which will certainly earn you recognition. When leading remote teams, this can be especially difficult to develop, but with practice, you can become more attuned to your teams and projects. Inspire others. Being a leader means you are part of a team, and as a leader, you should be able to motivate and inspire those you work with to collaborate as best that. When a team member needs encouragement or guidance, offer it. Sometimes 
all a person needs is something to listen and be sympathetic. And the next point is very important, keep learning. The best part to becoming a good leader is to always keep learning new things. It keeps your mind sharp and your skills fresh. It primes you for new challenges that may come your way, which is always a good thing in a leader. Empower your teammates. No one is the best at everything. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you can learn to be a good leader. Delegating tasks to others not only frees you up paper on your team. Resolve conflicts. Don't be a, don't be a manager. Not everyone will get along all the time. Instead of ignoring interpersonal conflicts, hoping they will go away, address it by taking to those involved privately. Also be open to reassizing team members if the conflict can't be resolved. Soft skills for engineers. So how soft skill help engineering students land a better job? Soft skills for and one tool for your work as an engineer. So soft skills, what are they? Soft skills are that sell at your skills are the skills that actually define your overall performance and how well you fit in your job. Soft skills attitudes, career aptitude you have towards the society. Hiring bodies in any organization prefer to get on board. Skills are very vital. One module of soft skills training as a subject. Soft skills for students are essential. at work requires skills for effective navigation through client relationship and work. Being able to have a positive building a good rapport with the clients, they work with the team. Being part of a field as large as engineering, teamwork is inevitable. Their nature of work requires them to communicate and collaborate with different departments within the organization as they would work in the core section. Therefore, engineers should possess excellent skills to mingle with colleagues and various departments and work as a team to ensure the work happens seamlessly. They deal with constant challenges. The nature of engineers' work is filled with challenges. Engineers have to deal with challenging situations almost every day. Adaptability and strong interpersonal skills are essentials for engineering students to develop to be able to cope with the strenuous, high-pressure work environment. 
positive attitude should be there. Great energy and a positive attitude work like a charm. The vibe you give to the people you work with is extremely important. And what's more essential is the ability to maintain a positive attitude in times of crisis. Being able to do this is a big plus point and will help you back the job you see. Another important thing is that adaptability. Adaptability is a must have quality you have to be there in you for all the engineering students. Engineering jobs can be physically demanding that is depending on your field and uh, involve unexpected changes in the work environment. To change and work in different conditions from the lab, a plant or production unit to a corporate office. Apart from this, an engineering job is one that constantly allows you in unforeseen circumstances. And to tackle this, you must be able to quickly think of your feet and navigate your team through it. Simply put, as an engineer, you must willingly be ready to adapt to the ever-changing environment of your job. Collaboration and interpersonal skills within the organization to get the job done in a critical trait an engineer must develop. The ability to seamlessly work with others, especially with ones from different teams, is essential for an engineer to thrive in an organization. Focus on developing your interpersonal skills which is one of the most important soft skills for engineers. Creativity should be there amongst every engineers or amongst every people. Being an engineer, innovation is an inevitable part of the job. Engineers need to have creativity as their core skills for them to contribute vitally to the team and the organization. Employers look for creative minds as they are out of the box thinkers, adaptable and are usually not people who are rigid and stick to a routine. Technical creativity is an important hard and soft skill for engineering students. Focusing on developing soft skill is equally important for engineering students as it is for students from other streams. The values these skills hold in the eye of organization and employers is sometimes even more than the value our skills have. Pick your skills rightly and work on developing them to build a solid and successful career. So here lies the end of my session. Thank you, madam. Thank for you, madam. Very, it's an it was an excellent outstanding speech. Discussion, outstanding presentation. That yes, is, ma'am. Uh, presented before the students. It's extremely nice. Extremely. Was, nice. Yes, yes, sir. It was extremely nice, students. Barring a yes, few sir. glitches due to uh, technical problem, technical. it was a lovely. It was a lovely uh, uh, lecture. I think the students will uh, enjoy it. And there were some students who had written in the chat box that they couldn't hear. We are very sorry for it. It was out of our hand. You are free to ask, madam, any question you like. Sure, sure. And as Professor Sen said, it was a very nice lecture. I would request you to ask any question. Dear students, you may ask any question. Very interesting. Many, many of the aspects an engineer should inculcate uh, during their studies and uh, what they should focus for. Uh, this is very interesting and nice. Yes, 
Yes, yes, yes, it was very nicely projected. Thank it was very nicely much. presented. Thank you very much. This is the first time uh, students uh, are getting the chance to uh, listen to a person uh, yeah. presenting before them so nicely. All the aspects uh, they should inculcate in their uh, career and uh, yes. during their studies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. You have very rightly Thank said. You. Thank you very much, madam. Yes, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Uh, who was speaking, please? Umbika, Umbika. Umbika, um, okay. Well, students, if do you have any questions? Hello? If there is no, no question. No, sir, it was a nice presentation. Let us Very join nice. hands, all students. Let us join hands to... Uh, 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 to clap uh, for this excellent presentation, uh, madam, uh, presented before you. Let us join hands to clap. Thank you, Thank you so ma much. Uh, I would be like to see every one of you when the everything will going to be all right. We are hoping to reopen our college from the November. So we hope to see you, all of your faces. And it will, it will be a great pleasure for all, all of us to start the college again in the yes, yes. offline let us, mode. Yes, yes. Let us, let us hope for the best. Yes. <laughs> so, sir, uh, Professor Sen, should we end the lecture now? Yes, yes. End the session now because uh, yeah. no, we are almost at the. Uh, we are almost at the end. Only ten minutes are left. Ten minutes have le are left. Barring some technical so, glitches, it was. Uh, no, nice. I think it was. It was due to the rain today. It was uh, pretty raining today. Uh, might have happened. Yeah. Well, students, okay. uh, I think we should end up the lecture, and please join the lecture in the second half. First lecture will be given by Sri Partho Aldar on academic regulation and next lecture on MOOCs will be presented by Sri Alok Mukherjee. Ma'am? Yes, who is it? I'm Sneha Dutto. Yes, please ask. Ma'am, I have one question that when you are presenting the slide of uh, after BTEC, what career option we, uh, are, we, are, we have in our hand? So yes. we are, uh, there are only government jobs you have said, and uh, yes. uh, we, uh, I want more information about uh, entrepreneurship and uh, the multinational companies that are there, Google, uh, Microsoft, Amazon, Arcesium, and I want uh, to do internship in this uh, multinational company in our second or third year. I, I have heard something about the, some uh, in their career portals. I have heard that uh, they offer internship to the students in their from their first uh, first year itself. So I um, require us more information from from uh, the. Uh, from... Yes, yes. Actually, uh, Sneha Doctor, uh, perhaps you are from uh, computer science or IT, whatever uh, these branches. So you'll get to I know from, things. Yeah, you are from. I am from IT department. IT department. Yeah, you'll get to know as you uh, come to the college and uh, there are physical mode of operation and also for the online mode of operation you'll get to know everything about this. There are many opportunities from this Amazon, uh, Microsoft, and all other uh, TCS and all other organizations, IBM. So they offer these uh, internships and uh, there are online portals on which you can apply. And uh, there are obviously a lot of competitions over that, but uh, you get the opportunity to get into those. And for the jobs also, these private jobs and uh, these things, uh, uh, Madam has covered the government sector, but there are these multinational companies and other private companies. Also, uh, there are opportunities. You will get to know uh, gradually. As you go towards our higher classes, you will get to know all these things. And uh, you will get okay, assistance from Thank the department you, also. Departmental teachers are there, HOD is be there, so you will get to know all this. Okay. Thank you. And we'll be in touch with the with our faculty in the placement cell. We'll be telling yes, yes. you. 
Yes, everything and, everything will be taken and care as of. principal yes. as principal have principal sir has mentioned in the very first day also that they will be benefited from the seniors. They are yes. the best guide uh, guide for your for uh, your job oriented uh, things, right, sir? They will. Uh, 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 tell, inform about the internship, where to do, how to do, and all these things. Once they will connect with the seniors, they will also inform. Yes, you have to keep in touch with your seniors and get to know. Uh, will you'll get to know each other once you join in this uh, lecture series? Also, you'll have a chance to meet them, and in the end, at that nine ninth of next month, uh, Professor Prithith Guo will be telling you about uh, placement. He is our advisor, training and placement cell. So any more question from your side, students? Hello, ma'am. Yes, who is it? Yes. Ma'am, I am Akash Brahma from IT. Yes, uh, please carry on. I request you to uh, send this PDF in a uh, college group. Okay, okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So you want the PPT, full PPT? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll share it. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Any more questions? So I, I think, think there is nothing. Uh, nothing uh, more. Nothing so, more. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I'll request uh, Supriya to end the session. Hmm. Uh, okay, first I'm. Um, I'm recording to stop. Put it. Ah, 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 recording to stop. Put it. session end. Put it. Till end the session. Okay. Uh, please join the second session.